Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Welcome back friend. Welcome to another video sessions from Kimi Biology. In this video lecture we will talk about the replication schemes of viruses. Okay. So we will talk about the replication scheme of viruses okay now in replication schemes we will study about the DNA replications I mean DNA replication viruses we will talk about the RNA replication viruses and we will also talk about the protein as well the synthesis of the proteins as well okay so now if we talked about the replication schemes of the viruses so in this in this in this topics what we will discuss we will discuss the DNA replication and RNA replication as well so we will discuss the DNA replication of viruses we will talk about the DNA replication of viruses in DNA replication of viruses we mainly talked about the double stranded DNA and single stranded DNA. Second, we will talk about the RNA replications. Okay, so RNA replication. In RNA, we will talk the same thing single stranded RNA and double stranded RNA fine so we will talk about the single stranded and double stranded and one thing more which is very important that's are about the positive from single stranded RNA we will talk about the positive and negative sense RNA replication okay. so from series we will talk about all these replication schemes okay now to explain the replications processes uh, first we will talk about the double standard and single standard DNA replication viruses okay for DNA replication we need to understand about the genes of the viruses okay so we we talk about the viral genome first of all we we need to understand the viral genomes okay now viral genome viruses have actually two types of the genes the first gene is called that uh, <coughs> early genes and second we have the layered genes layered genes now the early genes will transcribe and translate to produce uh, early proteins. Teens. And they will transcribe and translate to produce what? Late protein. Okay? So that's are about the viral genomes okay now viral genomes are actually two two types we have the viral genomes early genes and late genes early genes produce early proteins while early while late genes produce late proteins these two things are actually need for the for dna virus replications these two things uh, means these two genes are need for the dna replication a double stranded or single stranded dna replication 
sorry sorry <clears throat> if we talked about the double stranded dna if we talked about the double stranded dna viruses so you know about the double stranded structure so double stranded structure will be look like in this form let me draw okay so this is a double stranded dna and usually we call that a parental dna we call that what we call that parental dna okay parental dna we call that parental dna in parental dna what we have we have the late genes let's suppose this black regions or this black spouts will represents the early genes okay and uh, this red one this red one represents what this red one represents the late genes fine now this is a parental dna having the early genes and late genes fine these early genes first first of all what happen in this replication process of the double stranded dna first of all what happen first of all this early genes will be transcribed translated and finally we get the early proteins after that uh, the late genes will be transcribed and translated okay for the pathogenesis for the starting of the pathogenesis first of all these genes will be transcribed and translated and after that uh, for during infection these genes will be transcribed late genes will be transcribed okay so this this is actually a sequences first this one genes is transcribed and finally this one genes is transcribed so they, these are the sequences event okay now let's talk about first what happened first of all this gene will be transcribed okay so this gene will be transcribed cribed this gene will be transcribed and what they produce once they transcribed so they produced we call that early messenger rna mrna okay so once the early genes are transcribed so they produce early messenger rna and this early messenger rna will transcribe to produce to this red one represents early proteins or we can also call it dna polymerase polymerase in short we write dna poly okay in short form we write dna poly now what happened from the beginning early genes are transcribed to produce early messenger rna and early messenger rna then translated second we have a translation okay so let me write second we have a translation second we have a translation process from translation process what we get we get early proteins we call that early proteins we also call that dna polymerase why we call that dna polymerase we call that dna polymerase because they are used used in they are used in dna replication they are used in a dna replication that's why we call that dna polymerase so after that we get progeny dna what we get we get a progeny dna okay so a lot of progeny dna are formed double stranded or single stranded okay double stranded or single stranded 
if the process is uh, if the dna is double stranded so we get a double stranded progeny if it is a single stranded so we get a single stranded progeny dna okay so we get the double stranded progeny dna now this double stranded progeny dna having the late genes this red one will represent the late genes so we get a progeny dna means uh, uh, progeny from progeny dna what we get we get uh, this progeny dna actually have the late genes as well now this late genes will then transcribe first early gene transcribe when early genes make the progeny dna this progeny dna carry the late genes and now these late genes are then transcribed to produce structural proteins how so from this process again we get a transcription and from transcription we get a messenger rna and this time we call that late mrna and after late mrna what we get we get let's suppose these green dots represents the proteins we get late proteins okay late proteins fine so we get late proteins this late proteins are also called structural protein as well structural struck protein are also called structure proteins fine now we get a structural protein and why we call that structural protein because this structure proteins are no are responsible res responsible these structure proteins are responsible for capsid formation that's why we need uh, this one proteins late proteins okay so what we get from this dna progeny dna double strand or single strand if the dna is double so we get double strand if the dna is single so we get single stranded progeny from this progeny dna we get they carry the late genes and from this late genes we get the late messenger rna and now from late messenger rna we get the late proteins these late proteins are also called the structure proteins and they are actually responsible for the capsid formation now once the whole process is done means the replication means the uh, dna uh, means late and genes uh, late genes and early genes once these Trans once these proteins or their transcription process is done then we get a progeny dna fine how let's suppose from the late genes what we get we get the dna okay from the late genes uh, we get the progeny dna and from this sorry from the early genes we get the dna and from the late genes we get the capsid this red one uh, represents the capsid okay capsome or we can also protomers as well this is double stranded dna virus or we call that progeny progeny double stranded dna virus or progeny single stranded dna if they have single stranded so we call it and they again carry the late genes as well as they carry the sorry uh, early genes as well as they carry the late genes as well now this progeny virus don't have the cytoplasm they don't have the green uh, they don't have the uh, organelles okay they don't have any other thing they just have the genome 
if you talked about this is the double stranded if you talked about the single stranded so single stranded have the same but just the difference between is that uh, the there will be a single stranded means just like that we get a single stranded dna just like that single strand dna okay now so we get a single strand dna and from single strand dna we get uh, the messenger rna and from messenger we get the proteins and then we get a single stranded dna okay not the double strand because first we have the parental dna will be the single stranded dna and from this dna we'll get we get the rest of the things as i discussed so one important thing that I want to tell you why we, we, we cannot call that a single stranded, we, we not call that messenger, we, we cannot call that RNA. The reason behind that, uh, when the strand contain ribose sugar, we call that RNA. Either, either, they, either they are double stranded or they are single stranded. Once you see the ribose sugar in a strand, we call that RNA. Okay, we not, if you see the single stranded, you not say that this is RNA. No. You just see the main important thing and this main important thing is about the sugar content. If you see ribose sugar, so we call that uh, RNA. Either they are single stranded or either they are double stranded. We call that RNA. Once you get the uh, sh sugar content, means ribose sugar. Or if you get the deoxyribose sugar in a strain, either they are the double stranded or they are a single stranded. If you get the uh, deoxy sh sugar, deoxyribose sugar, we call that DNA. This is very important thing. Let's suppose this is a DNA. Why we call that DNA? Because this have the deoxyribose sugar. If they are, if they carry ribose sugar and they are a double stranded, we don't call that that this is a DNA. No. Why? Because they carry the ribose sugar. Then we don't call that this is a DNA. We call that double stranded RNA. If they carry ribose sugar. But if they carry deoxyribose sugar we call that uh, DNA I hope you understand so that's in a sense about the replication schemes of the double stranded RNA uh, of the sorry double stranded DNA viruses in the next video we will talk about the RNA replication of viruses in single stranded and double stranded we will talk about both okay then we will also talk about the positive and negative strand in the next video lecture so in this video we will talk about the we read the double stranded DNA viruses. So that's all about the double stranded DNA viruses, replication schemes, and some important uh, discussion about the DNA and RNA. I hope this video helpful. If you like this video, please set the like button, share this video, and uh, definitely subscribe my channel. Okay, don't forget this thing. Subscribe my channel. Okay. If you subscribe the channel, so you will get more interesting and more uh, beautiful lectures just like that. And uh, I will also happy whenever you subscribe the channel. And uh, thank you so much, guys.